Okay, this is gonna be our scene on classic Galactosemia, represented by the teacher on this side of the room, whose name is Galaxy Sima. Galaxy Sima for Galactosemia. In the last video, we spoke about Galactokinase deficiency, represented by this teacher over here, but here we'll be talking about classic Galactosemia, represented by Galaxy Sima. Before we discuss classic Galactosemia, let's review quickly galactose metabolism. That's what these teachers here in space are teaching. Normally, galactose is converted to galactose 1-phosphate, which is then converted to glucose 1-phosphate through uridyl transferase. Glucose 1-phosphate can then be brought to glycolysis or glycogenesis. In classic galactosemia, there's an absence of galactose 1-phosphate uridyl transferase, and that's why here it's exploding. Toxic substances, including galactitol, as you see over here, can accumulate in the lens of the eye. That's why if you see this teacher over here, with a big lens all around her eye, with this stuff forming around it. That was, remember, the accumulation of the toxins in the lens of the eye. Symptoms develop when the infant begins feeding, because that's when lactose pre is present in breast milk and routine formula. Lactose, of course, has galactose. This includes failure to thrive. That's why, unfortunately, in this scene, the baby is exploding. We also notice that the baby is yellow. To help us remember the jaundice, associated with other liver problems, including hepatomegaly. This child also, of course, has the Cadillac going through his eye. To help us remember the infantile cataracts. She has a grave on top of her head. To just to help us remember that classic galactosemia is, of course, the worst, much worse of the two conditions between galactokinase deficiency and class classic galactosemia. But you probably got that from the, just the teacher's face herself. If you take a look behind her over here, there's this cola can that says E. cola on it. The E. cola can on top of the scepter. The E. cola can on top of the scepter is to help us remember the E. coli sepsis. Classic galactosemia can predispose to E. coli sepsis in neonates. As we mentioned in the last video, both galactokinase deficiency and classic galactosemia are autosomal recessive. And that's why both of these teachers are standing on Reese's chocolate here in the middle of outer space. Treatment of classic galactosemia includes excluding galactose and lactose from the diet. Okay, thank you so much for watching the scene. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.